Hey everybody, we're here, uh, we're actually filming the PCP or control system for our hydrofoils that uh, we came up with. And we based it off of the fact that airplanes, you know, have wings, right? And those wings and the attitude of the airplane front to back or fore and aft needs to be controlled by something, right? It needs to have something to control that as people walk forward in the airplane the front end's going to get heavier, back end's going to get lighter. Or when the cargo gets put in there, it may be put in too far aft, too far forward. So you need something to control that change in fore and aft moment, they call it, or center of gravity. So we came up with a system that's called a PCP or pitch control plate. And this pitch control plate is mounted actually on an outboard motor. Um, the outboard motor can be electric, diesel, uh, propane, uh, gasoline, um, could be some form of, of both. It could be a hybrid. Um, it, it could work off of uh, um, uh, hydrofuels. So this PCP um, that we came up with is very, very easily mounted. However, it complements the boater that wants to do the hydrofoil but anyhow, we want to tell you and show you what the PCP does. All right, so the PCP is basically recessed. Um, it can be a flat plate in some cases as we're selling it. It can be a um, offsetted plate, which in case this is, this is the uh, third, this is about the fifth or sixth prototype for this Avalon that we discussed earlier. And it also, um, can be actuated. So there's going to be actuated mechanisms in here to change the angles of what the PCP has to offer. And in this case, we're just going to go with the fixed um, downward profile with um, uh, a, a lift ratio that is extremely high. This PCP, if you look at the size of the plate, uh, the original anti-cavitation plate, and you look at this PCP, the size of this is substantial. Um, we're somewhere between three to four times the size of this anti-cavitation plate with everything involved. And that allows us to control larger um, changes of weight. So the larger we make it, the more drag it has obviously, but the larger changes of controls and weight that we can change. So if somebody walks forward in a pontoon boat, just as in a plane, we can trim some of that out. You can't, if two people or three people go forward, there's nothing you can do to change, you know, 600 pounds of weight going forward. Um, but what it allows us to do is change that one or two person thing to keep the attitude of the boat the way that we want it. And we do that by using the control switch, the, the trim tilt control switch on the motor. So as somebody walks forward, the helmsman or captain would go ahead and use the trim tilt switch, trim it out. Okay. And so we're going to show you real quickly just what the installation of this looks like. Um, Andre has is showing the anti-cavitation plate here. He's also showing the holes that we have already previously drilled. And you can tell by these circles with sealant on it that it has been mounted, but we took it off just to show you what uh, what it may look like being off. This recess here accepts the recess or the, the actual anti-cavitation plate that's existing on this Evan Rude 75 E-Tech uh, from 2012. And this plate will just slip over, okay? And we'll go ahead and we'll put the screws in place to where they belong, all right? And I use a battery operated screw gun to help find the centers of that. There's one. And so while we're putting this on, um, you can keep in mind that if it was a final mount, what we would do is we would put sealant in between the bolts and the bottom, just, just to keep any water or corrosion from happening between the stainless steel bolts and the, um, and the motor itself, right? So you're gonna find that Two of these bolts we can't get to because they're underneath the above cavitation plate, but four of them are easy to get to. 
Now, as we go up in size for the motor and the motor gets larger, we're actually gonna be putting more than six bolts in, three per side. We're gonna be putting somewhere between eight and 10. So this has been proven uh, as, a, as a substantial um, strength for this plate for some time now. So we're not worried about anything happening to this plate. However, as we get into some larger motors, we're going to want more attachment points to spread the load out. And um, at that point, we'll have a, a pattern for everybody to drill out into their motor. Now, keep in mind, one thing about our system, okay, is that it's basically a plug and play system and it's an unplug and unplay system. So if you don't like what you get for some reason, you can take this thing off and say, I never, ever, ever want to see that thing again. And you can have these, these holes, um, uh, as you can tell, I'm just taking a standard wrench. You can have these holes filled with aluminum while they're still on, you know, with a, with, take them to a welder filled with aluminum. He'll sand those down and it, you just spray them the outboard uh, color white. And that's the name of that tune. So um, this is the one right here that we, we need the offset wrench for. And normally what I do with that is if I don't have an offset wrench, I'll just go ahead and turn it by hand and tighten that one up, okay? These you can get very, very, very tight, very fast, and you actually don't want to over tighten them. So you can hear the creakling going on. And for picture purposes, we'll get this side done, then we're going to go to the other side. And we'll get that done, and then we'll show you how strong and stiff this whole unit is.